What's up guys, I'm Vivi and I hope you're all having a fantastic day. So for this video, it's going to be pretty straightforward. A user by the name Steven Witt, if I mispronounce the name, I apologize. He sent me this link on Twitter. Apparently, he recently interviewed Sunzaro's creative director, Matt Kramer. This guy, he has so much passion for the gaming industry. In fact, Matt Kramer is such a huge inspiration to him. He got the opportunity to interview him, which is pretty cool. Now about this interview, there's a short story on the website. To keep it short, he used to write articles for a local baseball team, almost on a daily basis. Eventually, he thought of something different in terms of writing. He told himself, hey, I like doing what I do. I like video games. Why not jump into the video games industry and share my passion with the community? He writes stories, scripts, wants to make people happy. He makes a bunch of interviews. He shares a lot of information. He pretty much wants to share his interest with the gaming community. And I'm sure sure you've heard this phrase multiple times. Whatever makes you happy dude, go for it. What you're doing right now is pretty cool, interviewing a creative director. Having the chance to do so, it's pretty great. Now if you guys want to visit the main blog, the main website, the links will be in the description below. Now in this interview, yes, Sly Cooper was mentioned. And Steven Witt, thank you for sharing this on Twitter. News on this series is very dry. We haven't heard anything in a while. We have absolutely no idea what's going on. The fact that we got some information from the creative director himself is at least something. It's nothing huge guys, but at the end of the day, it's better than nothing. So what I'm gonna do guys, I'm gonna go over a few questions and if you wanna see the rest, links will be in the description below. With that being said, let's get started. You are the creative director at Sanzaru Games. When discussing how to develop a game in meetings, what usually happens at Sanzaru? Matt, this really depends on the content at hand, but for the most part we start out with a simple concept and build it up. Change and modify it until it's in the final state. Also, lots and lots of iteration. We have had full playable items and tore them down to make it better. Okay, okay, what was the point of going over this question? I mean, it doesn't reveal much, but this brings me to Sly Cooper 5. Sure, the same thing applies for developers, coming up with a simple concept, building it up, changing it, modifying it until the finalized version. But since they ended Sly 4 with the cliffhanger, could they already have ideas for the next sequel? Surely they have something. Ancient Egypt, like I've said 50 times, was supposed to be playable in Sly 4. Due to the PS Vita size limits, they had to take it out. You've heard this story multiple times. What is stopping them from continuing the story? One word, Sony. Yes, yes, they are also busy on other projects. But the question is, are they even interested with the Sly Cooper series? Do they still have passion for it? Are they willing to continue the series if they ever do get the chance? Of course, and I will get to that very shortly. With that out of the way, let's move on to the second question. You have been involved with the Sly Cooper series and you have seen how Sly has progressed through four games. What has been the most rewarding part of Sly Cooper's success, in your opinion? I have only been part of Sly Cooper Collection, Sly Cooper Thieves in Time, and Bentley's Hack Pack. I love Sly Cooper, it's this passion that brought the team together to pitch continuing the story of Sly Cooper. The most rewarding for thing to see is players happy faces enjoying the story and the world that we built. Even now, years later, people still come up to us with fond memories of the game. That makes me and our team happy. That is absolutely great to hear. Now, not a lot of people really liked Sly 4, they prefer Sly 2 in general, from what I've been reading, but the fact that the developer is still getting a good amount of attention is pretty cool to know. So he mentioned Bentley's Hack Pack. That's a standalone game which has a bunch of minigames. And the team worked on it in secret, if I'm not mistaken, after Sly 4 was done being developed. And yes, for those of you who didn't know about this, they were involved in the Sly Cooper collection. Here's a short story. A small team of people, they were a fan of Sly Cooper, right? They presented a prototype to Sony, an engine which could run on the PS3. Sony liked it, and then Sony gave them the permission to come up with a collection and a sequel. And why wasn't Sucker Punch involved in Thieves in Time while they were busy with Infamous? Sony was pretty convinced with what Sinzaru showed them, so that's how Sly Cooper 4 got greenlit. Even Sucker Punch themselves, they liked the idea of Sly 4. Next, I thought of throwing this into the video. It has to do with the Sly Cooper movie, it's nothing huge. What are your thoughts on the upcoming animated Sly Cooper movie? Matt replied, looks great and I hope it finally comes out. More Sly Cooper the better, of course, I agree 100%. More Sly Cooper the better. Now, aren't we all tired of the same word hope? Let's hope the movie comes out. Let's hope for the best. Sounds overrated. It's great to hope. 
but I think we're all waiting for an official statement by Rainmaker. We haven't had that in a while. Sure, we did get a bunch of replies, but I'm talking about something official on Facebook. I'm not talking about a trailer or anything like that. A new trailer would be great, honestly, but they're taking their time, and we want them to do so. I think we're all just waiting for words like, so hey guys, we are currently working on the Sly Cooper movie, like an official statement on their social media. This lack of information is making people lose a lot of hope. Sure, we did get a re-upload without the breaking into theaters in 2016. It only says the movie. But this brought me to this following idea. Since it doesn't say breaking into theaters or anything like that, what if the movie goes straight to DVD? And why am I thinking of this? Well, yesterday I was on their Facebook page and I saw a post about Serves Up 2, which I had no idea about. I had no idea this movie existed. I went on YouTube, I read the comments and a lot of people seem to be hating on this movie. A lot of people are confused, a lot of people said it's unnecessary, why is this even a thing? Look at the like and dislike ratio, I haven't even seen this movie, I've seen the first one and I enjoyed it, so I have no idea about this one. Plus, I had absolutely no idea that Rainmaker was involved. They're the ones who animated the film. And guess what, Serves Up 2 went straight to DVD. Now who is actually involved in the production? We have WWE Studios and Sony Pictures Animation. Alright, the Sly Cooper movie. It's going to be produced by Rainmaker and Blockade. Sony Pictures Animation isn't involved. Yes, they're working with the Sony IP and that's why I thought of the possibility of the Sly Cooper movie going straight to DVD. Now I'm sure a lot of you are gonna ask my opinion about this. How would you feel if the movie went straight to DVD? I'd have mixed feelings I guess. I would be happy that we actually get a film, but at the same time, I would feel like hey, if this movie had been released in theaters and was marketed right, a lot of new people could have discovered the Sly Cooper series. All it takes is a good amount of exposure. I have no idea what happened with Serves Up 2. I mean Sony's involved? Straight to DVD? That's what got me confused. Okay, maybe they saw the comments and they were like, okay, nope, let's put this straight to DVD. But who knows? I've said it multiple times, Sly Cooper has a very appealing story. It has theater potential. Now, a lot of you might say, going straight to DVD is the best thing they could do. The movie's gonna flop, just like Ratchet and Clank. But what if it doesn't? What if a lot of people buy the DVDs and the reviews are great? Imagine the movie gets critically acclaimed on DVD. How would you feel? Wouldn't you tell yourself, imagine if this movie were actually in theaters. Imagine the number of people who would have discovered this great series. And I'm saying all this assuming ads and marketing were handled very well. Anyways guys, I think I've said enough on the subject of the Sly Cooper movie. Let's move on. This could be an interesting question, but I have to ask this. Would you like to see more installments to the Sly Cooper game series? Do you think we will see more of Sly? Now I'm sure this is a question a lot of you were waiting for. Matt replied, I would love to see more Sly Cooper. Better yet. I would love that Senzaru works on more Sly Cooper. I feel the story is not over yet, and we have more to tell so we will see what the future holds. We can't leave him in Egypt, can we? So there you have it ladies and gentlemen. Senzaru Games is up for it. There you go folks. And thank you Vit for this interview, like really, we haven't gotten any official statement from Senzaru ever since the interview from E3 2015. And like I said in the beginning guys, this is nothing huge, but at least, it's something. Yes, it's not a release date or anything like that, but at least we get something. What is going on with Senzaru games these days? Well, they're currently busy with VR technology. They're experimenting. As for Sonic Boom, they're pretty much done with that series, for now. And here's a question regarding that, kinda. Senzaru also made Sonic Boom, Fire and Ice for the Nintendo 3DS. How was that game dev experience? Would you like to make more Sonic games in the future? I really enjoyed making the Sonic games. They are fun to work on and it was a pleasure to work with Sega Japan. For me, this was an honor and I enjoyed every minute of working with these iconic characters. So there you have it. If you were looking for the answer, there it is. What is stopping them from working on Sly Cooper 5? Sony. I don't know what's going on in their minds, we're just waiting for a green light. They own the IP so, Senzaru can't do anything about it until they get a yes. Does this have anything to do with the movie production? Are they planning on revealing something at E3? Are they planning on revealing a collection first for the PS4? Who knows? I mean, I've said it in a previous video, a collection would be sweet. A lot of people will catch up with the series if they buy the collection, featuring all 
all four games. All I'm gonna say guys is 2017 it's looking like a bright year for platformers. So I'm wondering, is Sony preparing an announcement? Could anything be revealed this summer? Tell me what you think guys in the comment section below. Before I end the video, there seems to be this huge debate going on. I prefer Sucker Punch, I prefer Senzaru, I want both of them to work together. Guys honestly at the end of the day, if we get the most anticipated sequel Sly Cooper 5, I think a lot of people will be happy, especially if the game turns out to be the best. Hey but what if Sucker Punch is secretly working on Sly 5? I don't know. There seems to be a lot of discussion going on online, these insiders apparently saying that Sucker Punch is working on a new IP. If we look at their newest job openings, they're not hinting towards Sly. But of course we're just simply talking about job openings. Guys, you never know, maybe Sly 5 will be developed by a brand new team, but I doubt it. Senzaru is up for it. So if Sony says yes to Sly 5, they'll give the opportunity to Senzaru. That's what I think. But anyways guys, hopefully you found this video useful. If you have any thoughts, leave them all in the comments section below. And as always, I've been Vivi and thanks for watching.